Hi guys, I'm coming to y'all with a stamping review from Petla. And these are my first Petla plates. And they are gorgeous. Um, they have a lot to choose from. It, it's not a massive um, selection, but the designs are cool. You can tell by the images. They are big. Oh my God. And it's, it's brass. Oh, and you know, they really don't have sharp edges either. So they must have fined a little bit, but you just got to watch probably right on the edges kind of sharp. But for this part right here, it's not sharp. They don't have anything on the back, like the hard backing. So I'm sure these just want to tarnish over time, but you probably would have to use brass cleaner to clean these. Um... And I got four plates. Um, they're, they run about $8.50 US. These plates took a minute to come in, guys. I think it took about three weeks, if I'm not mistaken, or longer. So um, it depends. I'm in the US, so it depends on... Uh, I'm in Texas, so I guess it depends on where you're at in the US. came in individual baggies like this. And it came in like this, since I guess it was a small order. Um, there is shipping. Because um, she has shipping on how many pieces you get. Like one through two or three to five are on up. And that's how your shipping's rate ranked. So my shipping was like $10.50 for these plates. Which um, is kind of pricey for four plates. But um, I wanted them. And there are very big images. And when I say big images, you really can't use a, a um, stamper like this because it doesn't cover. You really have to really smash it down all the way to get it covered. So you're going to probably have to use the Creative Shop because it covers the whole image. And also the Monu, the Monu Square Stamper. You, stamper. you see how big it is? This is the Monu. If you, if, I'm trying to tell you that the Monu has a bigger square than original. This is how the regular rectangle stampers look when you buy the set this is how small it is but look how big the difference in the moyu square much bigger in size so i'm going to get another one of these because it's very very marshmallowy it's very sticky and it works good for um curved nails and also curved and then big images as well because if you see i can i can press down on this whole image and it does cover it because because it's rectangle this doesn't cover it because it's round. Um, if it, because you're gonna miss out some of the corners of the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the plates, which they are. Um, they are not numbered, but they do have the description of the name of the plate. It's by two ladies of my understanding, Koi and Petla, and they do have their initials on their plate. And this plate is called Puzzle. Um, I have seen some reviews on this, but I haven't really seen a lot of um, people review and stamp and see how the images work. Okay, move along here. This is called Petra's Wishes. And you don't, you do not get a registration number or tracking number with these plates. I don't know if you order more, you probably do, but you do not. They don't tell you when it's going to be shipped. You don't know if you're going to get your package. I'm just throwing it out there. But I did get my package and I'm satisfied that I did get my package, even though I was wondering if I was going to get it because I didn't get a tracking or register number emailed to me. This is called Basic. Oh, aren't they pretty? Lines and shapes i even like the checkerboard very detailed plate when i tell you very detailed now um her website tells you that her plates are they have the amateur beginner stamper and then they have the uh advanced um stamper and it goes by the smoothness of her plate this is called shen shenanigans very pretty okay I'm gonna go ahead and stamp these for you until you see how it stamped 
Now, I'm not a advanced stamper, so I think these are for the advanced stampers because they had a smoothing, it's not deep cut. So you have to know your pressure and how to stamp with these plates. That's what she tried to explain on the website. And she has like, if you want this, if you want advanced or you want beginner. So she has different co cuts on each plate. I'm gonna go ahead and set me up so I can get started. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna do the first one and it's Petra's Wishes. I'm gonna be using uh, Mandu Polish Black number two. Okay, that's my first attempt. I didn't press that hard and um, it came out pretty good. These are some nice size images. This is really, you're going to be picking up half of the image with them short nails. But the long nails, baby, work, it will work nicely with long nails. I press harder. And it kind of smeared right there. Okay. Pressing too hard, going to smear your images. Like I said, um, advanced. Stampers uh, pressing too hard. That means if you're pressing too hard, it means um, you're right. you're a beginner. But if you have that light touch, you're more advanced. So I know I gotta practice on that light touch because I want that stamp to get on there. So at all costs, that's what I do. When I tell you this plate is sucking up some paint though. That's pretty. You really have to go light on these plates, I tell you. It's so big, baby. See, I pressed very light and it picked up gorgeous. Picked up gorgeous. So the key is light with these Petra plates. This is a pretty plate, very pretty plate. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Okay, let me see how it's gonna do with my sticky Moyu, Moyu um, rectangle stamper. Look at that. Kind of smeared a little bit, but it's very detailed. Very detailed. Very detailed. And you wouldn't think they're so deep and cut, but they very they are. They're very deep. But you can't feel the ridges. Okay, I'm gonna try this puzzle one. Let's go for that brain. I wasn't too keen on the brain, but hey, it was on the plate and I liked the rest of the rest of the puzzle. Puzzles. Woo, look at that. Very lovely. This rectangular square, y'all, by Moyu is very big and it works good with these longer images. I'm kind of digging this square among you. It's working really good with these plates. Look at that. I'm gonna have to get me another one of these guys. I really don't use the rectangle a lot. And I haven't used this too often, probably one time, and I'm really digging it on these plates here. Creative Shop is smearing just a little bit. This is shenanigans. Mondo polish don't go a long way with these plates because the images are so long.
Ooh, and I tell you, this is Mohu. This stamper works really good. But I also, guys, got my um my fan on, so I'm sure it's drying my polish pretty quick. I'm kind of hot today. Hope that fan is not bugging y'all. Oh, I'm getting polish all over my fingers, my hands, and everything. Okay. Um, you probably just need to roll it. Maybe I need to roll it, because that one came out pretty good. Me and lines just don't. We clash. Lines, we clash. And I got this this other plate that this next plate for just practicing lines. And I when I tell you big lines, I can never get those lines straight. Okay, that didn't come out too well. This creative shop not doing too well with me. But I got my line straight, didn't I? Hmm. Okay. Practice make perfect. Okay, let me go ahead and... I guess I'll do this. Look like a fence. You actually can see all the words very clear. Hey guys, last plates. My videos be so long, y'all. Please forgive me. But I love doing this for y'all. Okay, here we go with the line. I'm going to turn this upside down. You have to scrape the cord up with the deep print itself for going this way you're supposed to go this way with the card facing up and slide down not down like this going up hmm. i'm making a mess with this black polish for real hmm. come on great shot Shop. Creative Shop is failing me, y'all, and it normally doesn't. So these plates do better with a sticky stamper. Very sticky stamper, and this stamper is very sticky. And it's picking up. I'm gonna try that again with that Creative Shop. I'm determined to get something looking nice with that Creative Shop. Well, why would I want to do a corner, huh? Okay, I rolled last time, so press down. Okay, pressing down with Creative Shop is working. Oh, you stamper ain't playing around, huh, y'all? They just about to let me make me give them some more money just to get another one of those. All right, guys, this is all the plates. And look at them beauties. Look at them beauties. Besides that one. That one. Not too many messed up. One, two. And this one and this one, and that was with the creative. This is color in there, but... Hey, I'm sure if I play around with it again, I can get those the same as those. So you already know that this plate is the bomb. Very nice, very nice. Okay, guys, gotta wrap it up. Gotta go. Until next time, y'all have a smiley day. Bye.